Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome back to the third part tutorial of how to create a burning cigarette. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize for the first two parts. I was making those tutorial parts at night time where everybody here around uh, were sleeping and I was trying to keep on quiet so I won't interrupt them. So if you heard me talking in a very weird, lazy and tired way, Please be aware that that was the case. Now, uh, for this part, what we're going to do, we're going to create smoke. And um, I'm going to serve you like the basics of how to set your smoke to be somewhat accurate to what it looks in real life. I mean, I can't really set it fully, uh, you know, perfect, but... I will try to do my best and serve you with uh, the basic st stuff that you need to tweak there. I'm sure that there is a lot for me to study as well as you, but um, I mean, something that will pre represent a smoke, uh, you, will, you will get in this part. So you just need to listen carefully and follow my steps. And if you want to do this on a new file, uh, I mean, you don't have to do this uh, on the same file project. You can create a new file and study smoke that way and maybe give it more natural kind of look. Uh, that will be great. I mean, I really encourage you to do so. Uh, that was, that what I was doing yesterday. I was sitting like about, uh, well, today, about an one and a half hour just playing with all the little stuff that there is there some terms in english i don't really familiar with so this is really hard on me i need to translate them in order to know what this uh slider or what this checkbox is really uh giving to me but in general even if i'm looking at this you know small changes not always uh very i i can't really notice them uh i'm sure that some sliders can do something but it's not always that obvious so anyway with that said, let's put it aside. Let's fix two things that I really need to fix this time. And we will continue with the smoke. So I'm going to open my file. Um, basically, I created uh, already two more files because of that smoke and the experiments. So this is where I left you. Okay. And right now, the l cigarette is lit in a little bit too fast for us. We need uh, to give... Uh, time frame, frame time, uh, which will fit uh, the way that the smoke is emitting out. So basically we need the cigarette to just burn a little bit slower than what it is right now. 300 frames to burn from start to that last chunk, chunk point is really fast. So how are we going to do this? Um, first of all, as I uh, fight that uh, on the second part, you want to open the outliner and you want to get the curve, okay? And you want to switch to the motion path tab and you want to click on this little arrow here. This will bring you this box again. So now instead of putting this on 300, we will first uh, set our frame, uh, time frame, time, timeline to be 1500, okay? And like that, press enter and we will set our curve timeline to be set to 1000 okay and enter now you can rewind and play this and let it play and stop this and rewind again and then it will reset itself or you just simply need to i don't know uh let it i don't know something just like a bug or something but eventually it's getting there so I'm, i will just let it run a little bit and i will stop this Rewind this backwards, and hopefully, well, hello. Doesn't want to change 1000. I have no idea why. Let's press, let's press enter again. Let's press enter again. Well, it's already changed. Oh, you need to unselect whatever being selected, which is the curve. You just need to release it. <coughs> so now it's 1000. And you can see if I will play this, the light will go very slow. But we have a problem. This is going a little bit too fast. Now, what we've done earlier was set this to 300, and we set the light to uh, 
270, if I recall. So this is exactly what we're going to do now. We're going to rewind this. We're going to open the channel box and grab the tobacco layer, which contains this part, the white part. I'm going to select objects. And I'm going to right click on the background, choose vertices, grab all those vertices. But before that, you see here on the timeline, we don't have any red marks. When I will grab them again, I will have this. So even though I saved this file and shut off my, uh, and, you know, I slept somewhat well, um, I can return to those values by just uh, grabbing all those uh, vertices that I already keyframed, okay? <clears throat> so, now, what you want to do, you want to click here with control. You want to control right, uh, left click on this red or shift click, okay? Shift click on this. And you can simply move it to 1000, okay? Now, I just double click this. So, I'm going to set this. Let me first set this. Well, it's not set, so that's good. I'm going to click on this was frame 277, I think. And shift select this and move it, okay? You need to be very accurate on your frame that you choose this keyframe. And I'm just moving it to 1000 and reducing 30, okay? So 970 will set us good. Or like that, and yeah, that's good. So left click or shift left click. Oh no, just double click here. It, it will set it. So now the light and this um, you know burning area is acting accordingly, traveling the same speed, and it buys us some time to emit smoke. So I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna take a render. Now this is one thing that I forgot to talk about and I do and I did want to mention. Uh, on the second part, I was trying to do uh, some renders, you know, the region render, and I watched that part of the tutorial after I uploaded, uh, uploaded it, and when I watched that, I noticed that whenever I took those renders, you couldn't always see the result of the render. Now, that is really bothering me. I'm not sure if it's still like that. Maybe I should have uh, let the video process a little bit more time but there was this problem and if it is like that what I will do now whenever I will create a render region I will simply stop it when I see it's like okay for me like I can understand what I'm gonna see I'm gonna stop the render I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna look at it and close that window window and open it again in order for you to see the result I really hope that will solve this. I don't know, something about the screen recorder can't capture that, and I can do really nothing about it. So, um, for now, because we set this, I'm allowing myself, at least at this moment, to make another save. And I told you I already created two saves uh, later after the second part, so I'm going to save it as cigarette to six, okay? So, this has been fixed and I still have the, uh, you know, the original one. So let's rewind this back, press F8 to leave those vertices alone. And what I want to do right now is I want to create uh, a 3D container. So what you want to do, you're going to go over dynamic here in this menu. And from the fluid effect, you're going to fluid effects, you're going to create 3D container. Okay. Now, want to set this container, uh, use the move tool, but I need to use English, and bring it just to the surface where this uh, cigarette is, okay, on the same level. Now, right now, it's not on top of the grid, but it's midway up, midway down, so I'm going to use the side view in order to obtain this better. So you see, I need to bring this just a little bit up that way. Now, at this position, I can only bring this here and maybe set it to the center of the light. So you see the, this um, move tool? I will set this green one to be exactly on the center of our grid, on our light. Okay, so that's good. Now switch back 
Well, I think this is the field. No, it's not the field. Then. Okay, that's good. Everything is okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to create a polygon cylinder. Okay. I'm going to rotate this. Hold on the J. Rotate it that way. Move it over here. I'm going to right click, choose edge, grab one of those edges. Control right click, edge ring utilities, to edge ring and split. Press F8. I'm going to go over uh, polygon menu here and then mesh tools offset edge loop click hold and drag and set this edges like so and you want to create another one in between them another two like so okay then press f8 bring it back to object mode right click on, to, on this use the selection tool by the way i'm always switching back to selection tool after using tools so those both uh, have cuts, I'm gonna simply delete them. So it will leave me with this tree that I can press three and smooth this, but it will, uh, those edge loops will help in some way to maintain this that way. Now, this object uh, basically will be invisible one, okay? And we will need to set it to be invisible. Invisible. Visible? Yeah, invisible, not invisible. Anyway, um also this object will emit the smoke now therefore we need this to be exactly where the cigarette is so you see when i created this i didn't move the cigarette from the beginning of this tutorial uh series so this is exactly where it should be okay i'm gonna let it be here on the center i'm gonna switch to side view i want this to be just ahead a little bit ahead from the right side of the light, like so. And I wanna switch to perspective view, open the outliner, I wanna obtain this part. It's selected, I wanna see it. I wanna call this, rename this to uh, smoke emitter, okay? Emitter, like that. Now, this, uh, this way we can uh, really um, know know which one are from all those here so after you uh, rename it grab this grab the 3d container go over edit mesh oh sorry polygon dynamics back to dynamics go over fluid effect and go over add edit contents choose emit from object option box make sure that emitter type is set to surface and click apply and close now as from now, our emitter is uh, producing smoke. So we can press play and let it burn, okay? Now, this will be a very slow process from now on, and it could be a very long tutorial because of little tweakings, though I ain't gonna push it that far. I will try to, um, you know, give you something that will just help you to get somewhat close to how it really looks like. So you see how the smoke hacks right now. Now, whenever we created this fluid container and we told Maya to emit from that object, what happened is that for our, our smoke emitter, there was expand, expanding area here, which you can choose the fluid emitter. Now, if you open the outliner, uh, the attribute editor while it's selected, I want you to go over density emission map click on this add okay well not the method but the heat method and i want you to change this to no emission and the fuel again no emissions okay no emission now i'm gonna switch to the fluid here fluid one and i'm gonna set the velocity here okay to grid static grid and the temperature to static grid. I'm gonna, well, I think that I need to, oh, this will be a dynamic grid. This is dynamic grid. And this is dynamic grid. So everything here is dyna dynamic grid, sorry. Um, now, there is one thing that I wanna right away check and is this the, where it's this? Resize, where it's the resize? resize. 
dynamic simulation and auto resize okay you want to click on auto resize you want to make sure the resize close boundaries is checked resize to emitter you want to uncheck this and right now i'm going to play this and we will see what's what's up with the smoke okay so rewind and play you can do this in real time change values and you will see them occur here but still yet i prefer that way okay right now so now what's going on is that whenever the uh, the smoke is raising up um the boundaries of our uh, container is just adapting to that and just growing up now there is a value i think that the max resolution is uh what tells this not to grow up that fast or too far or just maintaining this in some kind of a height so i am going to use touch this okay i'm going to stay satisfied with what i what i see here because this is pretty you know this is pretty fine for a cigarette to uh raise smoke that high and i'm going to stop this and rewind this back now there are things that we need to start and deal with here so let's say um we're going to go up here and you want to check that the base resolution is i don't know something like 60 or 70 okay click apply you want to make sure that the size of your scale of your of your container is somewhat that fits whatever we have here so i'm going to set it to about four on the x this is x y and z so the x and the z i want to set to four so it's somewhat contained in this area and not spreading all the way now it's okay to spread all the way but this just will take time and i don't know i'm trying to contain this in somewhat reasonable space so maybe even three three or two two i don't know it's really up to you try to figure out what best for you um still yet 10 here it's good you can also set it to 12 and you want to rewind this and or maybe well set it yeah let's leave it 10 for now um the boundary x you want to change it to well you want to make sure it's both sides i think and the boundary y you want to set the negative y okay and you want to click and play this okay so now you can see the smoke is somewhat a little bit better than what it was right now it's a little bit heavy it's very thick but it can get better so i'm gonna scroll down here i know that it's really hard to see this and if i will get rid of this it will be easier to see somewhat let's leave it at this perspective view now i'm gonna change um let's see um mm -hmm. uh, play with some settings here i don't want to touch the self correct i want to change the transparency i want to take a first render for this if you don't mind okay uh, i'm gonna let it first burn burn let it burn Okay, that's nice. Now well, let's take a just a region render or something like so. <clears throat> well, I hope that it started. Maybe I will need to give it a push with right clicking. We shall see. Try right click. Render region. Meanwhile, I will light my cigarette. Well, it's taking time, and for some reason, I have a reason to believe that Maya crashed. I hate that. I hate when it happens. okay um well you know what i'm gonna stop this 
but maybe I will let it do its thing. Not sure yet. It's time consuming, so. Well, yeah, let, let's get rid of my Control Shift Escape, Maya, right click, not responding. Yeah, right. And untask. Okay. Well, the good side of this is that <clears throat> Maya, uh, we saved that earlier file, so I only need to create the, again, the smoke. God, I hate when it happens, but what can I say? Um, CG one, CR two to one, six, sorry. All right, so we set this and everything is fine here. And let's create again our cylinder. Let's hold on the, sorry. Hold on the J key, rotate it 90 degrees, bring it over here. Sorry, scroll right click, edge, scroll right click, edge ring into this, to edge ring and split. Um, press F8, let's change this to polygons, edit mesh, sorry, mesh tools, offset edge, take those two here. And those two next to them. And switch to selection tool, press F8, right click to space, grab this half cut, this half cut, delete it, press F8. Now I'm gonna create, I'm gonna save this as well. File, save, save. And I'm gonna create my uh, fluid container. So create fluid container. Let's set it position. Just in the center of the light and bring it up to the same subject level. Cool. I'm gonna save this as well. Have any problems later on? And I'm gonna put this here to the side of this. Right side of the light. Let's shift select the container. Let's go over um yeah. Fluid effect, edit, add, edit, and empty from object. Make sure it's surface and apply and close. So now we can emit smooth. So same thing. I'm gonna change the density emission to no emission, fuel no emission. Um, you can, well, you have to open the outliner. And I didn't uh, rename this, but you can see that. This poly cylinder has this plus, so that means that this is the the one. Now I'm gonna grab the fluid emitter and change, sorry, the fluid emitter, and change the temperature to dynamic grid and the fuel to dynamic grid, and let's render display um, and dynamic simulation. Okay. Now, you don't want to have any velocity. The velocity will make the uh, smoke very heavy. So try not to deal with that. Uh, you can maybe use the damp. Maybe I'm not really sure what that really con uh, controlling. Though, let's, well, sub-step. You want to change it to two and make sure that this tick box okay, is ticked. Uh, auto resize, you want to make sure auto resize set as ticked and undo that, resize to emitter. Uh, dynamic offset, <clears throat> I think that's uh, already controlled by when you click play, you will see the values here are running. I'm not sure if this is the one, but let's have a look. Okay, so you can do something about that, uh, but you Probably don't want to touch this right now. Uh, let's get back to the boundaries of our um, here of this thing. So I'm gonna type in three. Maybe I just squeezed it a little bit too much. So three will be fine here. And I want to set the boundary y to y negative. And I'm gonna save this as well. File save scene. Well, you know what? This is where I started to control those. So I will keep it as 
Digitude 7. Okay. Until the last save I made earlier, it was like only the parts that I added. So now I'm dealing with the settings, so I don't want to ruin up things. So I'm going to save this as 7. And I will let it play. All right. So right now the smoke looks a little bit thick as for my taste. So what you can try and do here at this case, uh, first of all, let's try, uh, let's try set the, there is something here that I need to set, but I'm not sure where it is right now. I need to find it. Liquid, no, um, self, no, I'm gonna suspend them all, find them. And there is something about this one, the swirl. So I wanna set this to one and see how this will act. Uh, I have a reason to believe the swirl is just supposed to, uh, you know, break the smoke a little bit, uh, a little bit better. So it won't constantly be just, uh, you know, some kind of a one single strip of smoke. Okay, so that's nice that way. See, now I'm gonna stop it somewhere in the middle, like 500 or 600. I don't know, we shall see. And I am gonna use IPR, IPR is just a mess. You want to render this, so you will have to excuse me about uh, those render times. Anyway, uh, this part of the tutorial will have a lot of render time, so gonna always check things and see what it's going well it's not a lot just a few more stuff that I need to tweak here um, and we shall see so let's first render this well rendering much better than IPR rendering IPR rendering can be very uh, act very stupid and just crashing my eyes i don't know why it's doing this maybe it's a little bit too heavy for my system mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's starting to look nice i mean it's not bad it's a little bit too heavy okay so I'm gonna keep this and close this. Now the drop of drop off shape in the shading, you wanna change it to sphere. This will uh I don't know, it's just a little bit make the smoke uh thinner. Now just take a look, you see if it was cube or cone. Cone is good, but if you will rewind and play this will be looks like it will look very weird and you don't want to make it cone so try to set it to sphere or or y gradient okay well y gradient is a little bit too much maybe negative y gradient um let's play this Okay, this is how it looks with Y gradient. I'm gonna stop it at 500, about 500. I want you to just take a look at the smoke and how it just look here. Now I may want to add something here. Oh, uh, where it is? Okay, the base resolution to about I don't know, maybe 80 will be good. And click wind and play this. Okay, that starts looking nice. Okay, you see, that's really good. Um, Let's try and render this, but I'm going to save this 
save scene as. Now I'm gonna make saves uh, because if I see something that I prefer to, that I think it looks good, I will save this and maybe if I will do something that is wrong, I will be able to get back to it. So I'm gonna render this and have a look at this, how it looks from far away. <clears throat> Doom, doo -doo -doom. I can't really pause the video, so don't ask me why I'm not pausing until it's finishing rendering. Um, that means that I will have to stop the video recording, and then I will need to patch all the parts together in some kind of editing uh, video program, and I don't want to do this. I'm really not into those little stuff. Um, anyway, let's hope that it will render good. takes time. I'm still uh, using CPU to render and not my new graphic card, so uh, this could be a problem and take some time. I think that the overall, just by looking at what I see right now, and I'm not sure if you see this, uh, it's starting to look good. So I'm halfway satisfied with that. Not halfway, but I can be satisfied with that because uh, I don't need more than that. But we shall see. Maybe we can add or ruin this a little, a little bit more. <clears throat> I have no idea what the hell am I seeing. Anyway. I think that in one hour, uh, the light here will start to dim off and have a nice weather evening, but not spending too much time outside as I used to, so, well, that's, uh, that's good. My cat is yelling. And render time is just in time, 20%. I'm really wondering why. Rendering while you're screen recording is not a good idea. <laughs> Maybe I can lower the resolution and still um, get some result that I will be able to see. Well, 40, starting to jump. 80, 95. Well, just that last spot, please. I guess the smoke is not that big issue to render. So, okay, let's keep this. And I'm gonna close this and reopen this just to make sure that you really see this. This is the result. Okay, now the smoke looks good. There is a transparency to it, though uh, in first earlier experiments I made, I did play it a little bit with the transparency. I don't feel like doing this right now again. So let's see what else we can do here. Where is this surreal thing again? Maybe we can bring it up a little bit more. Here it is. Let's set it to extremely five. I don't know. Something like that. Velocity scale. Um, ah. Let's do something like random. Two, one. And okay. Noise. I don't know what I want. Noise, I don't know what. But let's try this. Let's turn off this spring. Well, that looks like... That looks nice, though. Surreal is really helping here. 
but I think that the noise just and the velocity is just a big issue here. So let's try get rid of the noise first. See how fast this will go up, if at all. So it's not. Looks like boiled old boiled water steam. So set this to one back to one. Just leave the swirl at five. See how this is contributing. I mean, I can understand that because I set it to high swirl settings, it just take times until it's growing up. It's very short, uh, kind of. Uh, let's set this swirl to two. Better. I mean, it started with zero, so think of it uh, just too much. Leave it at two, it'll help to raise this up faster. Even one and a half can be good. Two, it's good. I like two. Two, it looks good. All right. So, right now, I really don't want to touch this anymore. I think that this smoke somewhat represent what real smoke looks like and even if I'm gonna add more to it, I will simply can ruin this in you know one wrong uh, option. So I'm gonna save this file again. I'm gonna call this uh Put smoke, I don't know. Smoke, put, went, fine. Okay, <laughs> eight. Save as. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do here, um, as for the preparation that we made here, is very simple. We're gonna rewind this, and we want the smoke to follow our um, thing here. So you want to select your container, right? Shift, sorry, control, select cylinder, right? This one here. Now you want to go over gen general and parent them with clicking this or simply press P on your keyboard. Now it's really important which one of them you choose first. So you want to make sure that well, let's parent them and see what will be the mother and what will be the child. So if I'm going to grab only, the f only this, okay, the polycylinder, see? So it's old, it also hold uh, the container. So whenever, wherever the polygon cylinder will go, this will follow it. So now we want to do the same, that the polygon cylinder will follow the volume light, okay? So... Grab this polygon cylinder, make sure it, that this one is following it, and control select the volume light, okay? And turn them as well. So now, wherever the volume light goes, the entire th structure here will follow. So you will see, I'm going to rewind this and play this. And see this cigarette is start to burn, and it follows the same pattern here. And I'm really all good with that. Okay. Now, there is a spot here where it will flip. It should flip somewhere here. So you don't want to go all the way to 1000. You want to be maybe a little bit earlier than there uh, to stop render if you're going to render this. Okay. You will see. It will simply flip. And I need to check how to fix this. I'm not sure at the moment. Here, you see? It's just through 1,000, uh, you know, uh, frames and it's flipped down. This is really interesting. I need to really 
see what making this uh, flip and if it's can if it can be inverted and just remain there at the same spot without uh, getting flipped but right now let's just make one more render well I will stop this at 600 I will let it play again Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, here it's fine. Smoke looks very promising. And I'm gonna take a render. Oh, before that. Now, one more thing I forgot about. There is the polygon cylinder, right? With this thing that emits the smoke now basically it's gray and you don't want to see this in your render now if you're going to render this what will happen you will uh, see that it's getting uh, well it's getting the light from our volume light and there you will see this strip of glowing light here so you won't see anything gray you will simply see some strip glowing so maybe you want to see this, but if you don't want to see this in your render, because I believe that you don't really need to see this, uh, all you need to make sure is that your render state for this object is that you don't cast shadow, you don't receive shadow, no motion blur, no primary visibility, no smooth shading, no visible in reflection, nothing, okay? Just check off all of them. That means that this object right now is fully transparent to you okay and let's render this and see where it where it takes <clears throat> well I hope that this is the one and I really eliminate whatever I hope that I didn't do this to the light the reason I can't see even my cigarette because that's weird I'm going to try and stop the rendering. Sorry about that. I have a reason to believe that I touched the light. Oh, volume light. Good. Cylinder. Polygon cylinder. Play. Ray. No, that's good. That's good. That's good. Everything is good. Just need to render this from this view let's bring up the frame see what we are rendering and let's render this <clears throat> oh okay so it's rendering the cigarettes Well, it will take time, so I will mute my microphone and hopefully back when it's finished.
or it's taking time anyway uh, just sitting here watching like this if you like you can rewind or something very slow rendering but I believe that it will start jumping here and My eyes is not responding. Not responding, but it does has some. See, the CPU is just crazy. Maybe. Good. Uh, while we are watching this. Is 100%. Per Memory is 2.4 gigabyte, yeah. 10 gigabyte for not functionality uh, at all. I don't know why something with my ROM it just went worse. Uh, don't know how to explain it. When I use Windows 7, uh, try to install Windows 7, uh, my installed memory ROM was 10, but only. 3.9 was usable and some people suggested that I need to update my BIOS and others said just you know change their position on their on the board so um, I had to switch them and try and play with them what I believe is someone has sold me a very cheap memory uh, and this is what's causing this. Anyway, <clears throat> it wasn't cheap for me, but it probably was cheap for him. Now, for some reason I can still see, I'm not sure I'm like, maybe I'm more of like up, but for some reason I think that I see this strip there. Well, it's not bad. <clears throat> it's not bad, but not that good I mean didn't expect it to be there maybe I'm just imagining it so I think that after this render basically I'm gonna wrap this part I just want to show you the render and hope that you like what you see and it keeps you satisfied with what we are doing um, till now. I know for sure that I'm going to just leave it as it is. I, I don't want to touch this anymore. I know that if I will play with it, I probably will ruin this. I mean, I'm not, I'm not afraid. I do have a save file, but uh, Still look good, so I don't want to touch it more than that. Now, one more thing I didn't uh, talked about. Um, you know the hashes. Uh, if you've seen the preview of this, whenever I started this tutorial.